Welcome to Trading Lounge and the European Indices for Thursday, August 19 and study on the weekly chart here just to gain a bit of perspective because we're looking at um, some tops possibly being in play in the US markets in terms of uh, this wave three being in play already, which leaves this wave five here very small compared to wave one, two, three, four, and five here. So um, I do think there is another little move up here for the DAX, but the FTSE could be dragged around uh, to the downside. Um, so we need to be careful about that. So um, yes, wave one and two here and wave three here. So a lot of, even in Australia where we are, we're looking for this wave three top as well. Now, uh, some markets lead, some follow. Uh, markets don't always top the way that you would like them to top or expect them to top in terms of their count. They might end up with just three waves up or a small structure or something or other um, because they do get dragged around if other larger markets are, you know, are uh, being hammered, so to speak. So uh, based on the weekly chart, let's go to the daily chart and pick it up from uh, minor wave four. We have been talking about uh, looking for a top at the Jackson Hole sort of uh, meeting here, but um, we'll see how that goes. So from wave four here, we're looking at one and two and three here. Nice five wave structure in here, not a problem. Uh, wave four and then wave five. So is it possible the DAX can have uh, new highs and the FTSE could roll over or all that sort of stuff? Well, possibly. Um, let's just cruise in a little bit closer and have a look at this. And the move here looks a little bit corrective. So I think we're on the right track. Um, it could be a little bit more complicated. I mean, I just normally talk in ABCs, but um, it could end up in some other type of situation. So from wave four here as one and two here, and one, two, three, four, and five here, we do need to protect our situation here. So um, let's see, I'll maybe do that on the hourly chart. We've taken a percentage uh, here. So let's just um, clean this up here. We're all looking. So even this move up through here, we're looking at this as possible ABC here. So we're looking for a possible, um, you know, move up from there. But I have to say, it's looking rather lazy to the upside. So it's possible that this wave four could play out here in a more complicated uh, way. Um, even that's in three waves there. So we could have this as an A wave, a B wave and a C wave here. Um, could even get a triangle out of this as well. But we wouldn't want to really see it move much further down and would probably need to bring wave five down a bit lower here, lower our expectations um, of this. So yeah, that's kind of what we're looking at. I'll just have a look on the hourly chart here for a moment. Okay, this gives us a little bit better of a picture. We can see that this is overlapping wave structures here. So we know that it's corrective. We counted five waves down here as an ABC. So that was correct. Um, but now we need to make adjustments. So we need to put this over here and we'll need to put this over here somewhere. Oops, a daisy. This one over here. This one over here. This one over here. Um, Just sort of, I mean, it's really on that trend line there, isn't it? Kind of handy just to keep that visual there. But um, we could be looking at all sorts of corrections in here, even a triangle pattern coming into play. It just depends on how this plays out in five waves down here or three waves here. So some sort of um, something like that. And then it could even have this and that before moving up, you know. I'm not quite sure about that. Um, but we'd want to leave the stop because we've taken a percentage here at the 16,000. We'd need to leave the stop here. So you could go 50, you could just put it under the 750 here, or you could go up a bit to the um, 766 area. So 15,766 for that stop. So let's just put that in 15 there so I 
to see if this could be counted as an impulse wave. It's a bit of a stretch, you know. I mean, obviously, this would be one and two in here. We've got the third wave in here. So we've got some sort of fourth and fifth in here. And this move here would be the low here. So that would be some sort of news event there, of course. But that low there would be the A wave, the B wave, and the C wave for the B wave there, and then the C wave here. So it's pretty much in three waves. So unless it can be an A and a B and a C wave here. So wave one here an A and a B and a C here for wave for two, but we've got overlapping wave structures and things, so a bit of a long shot, but I like to look at both sides, so um, yeah, I think we'll just stay with this for the moment, but obviously there's really nice support at the 800, so it's okay to spike through here and to go back up, but to find that as resistance, well then the party would be over at that point. Okay, so the FTSE we know uh, has its moments. It can be quite powerful in when you're not expecting it, and then and then just be sort of go into lazy mode. Uh, where's the FTSE here? So um, on the four-hour chart, uh, once again, we're also looking for wave four as well. But I can see this move down here would be wave one and two here, and this would be three here. So I could straight away see that that might be a little rally for wave four. Uh, and wave, we'll still need to see wave five come down here for this. So, is it possible the top can be put in here? Yeah, we could count, we can count five waves up here to that point, and I'll just go to the tick chart to do that for you, and then you can either uh, accept it or chuck a wobbly or do whatever you need to do. But uh, let's go maybe, is that too much? Yeah, too much. So this would be the move to the upside in that case. It would be, this would be wave one and two here, and then one well, all the way up for three and four, and then one and two and three and four and five. So it is, it is possible, but we've also got this little flick here as well for that. So we've got one, two, three to here, four to here. I'm just counting this out now. So let's just um, get a grip on this here. So we'll put that in as the top. Look at that as one and two, and this is one and two three four so that's the all the third way there's an abc for the fourth and this is one two and one and two and three and four five and so that's just that so i don't know what that is that's part even though it's lower here so we've either got an a wave a b wave and a c wave to this point and then an a and a b and a c and then an a and a b and a c um, so we could be in some sort of triangle pattern here so i'll just leave this so that wave four is is it's possible to count wave five here. It's pushing it a little bit, but it's kind of acceptable. Okay, so that's that. Um, but at the same time, this is looking a bit wave four ish. This is the wave four of one lesser degree, whichever way you look at it. So, yeah, coming back to that point is fine. So let's just go back again to uh, here for this. That was, I think we were at the one hour, were we, or four hour? Okay, this is it. This is good. So we can look at this as that there, that there, and this gives a bit more definition here. So we can come down lower here for this. So that would be obviously, oh, we could look at that as one and two. No, that would be in there. So uh, it's either three ways for a triangle or we're going to go, let's just get this. So it can rally to, let's get rid of that. Can rally to here and then have one more move down from that point to get that. So we don't want, we can see it spike down to 780, 772, um, but we don't want it, we don't want the, we don't want the 100 to become the retested resistance at that point. So you can, hold it for a little bit longer. Once that wave four goes in, you see that go down here, your job will be to go to the intraday and count five waves. And once that five waves is done, then uh, draw a line under that and that's where your stop would need to go. If you're holding on to that. I mean, it's a good case of this because the US banks have still got a, another move to the upside as well. But some of the other markets are looking bearish. So, um, yeah, 
Alrighty, um, we need to have a look at the other market as well. So we've got this in a wave four. I mean, it just looks so natural, doesn't it, to have a wave four here. That's probably the 38.2% retracement level, but also it wants to come down a little bit more as well because I have to look at this as, an, as some sort of A wave, B wave and C wave into here. So yeah, we'll just see how it settles in. But around the 150, we're going to find support for that. So we could drag that down. We don't need that there. So the 150 would be, we wouldn't want the 150 to become the retested resistance here either. I mean, we could get five waves out of this move up through here, but it just looks so good as one and two, you know. So I'll just leave it at that, I think. Alrighty. Um, well, good. Cheers.